Hi friends. If you find yourself sitting at a desk all day, you know the feeling of having tense shoulders, a stiff back, and tight hips and hamstrings. If you're stuck behind a keyboard all day, it's inevitable that your body suffers over time. Today's 15 minute after work yoga class will help you open up your shoulders, stretch those tight hip flexors, and release any tension held in the neck and upper back. It'll help you maintain a strong musculoskeletal system for good posture and even better health. If you're ready, please join me on the mat. Hi there, I'm Chelsea with Ascender Asana Yoga. And for today's class, we're gonna be using a couple blocks, but if you don't have them, that's okay. You can also substitute a chair if you'd like. But if you do have them, please place them shoulder width apart at the front of your mat in the third position, so the high position. And we're gonna start out in a mountain pose posture today. So come to a standing position towards the front of your mat. Feet hip distance apart, arms down resting at your sides, palms open in front of you. If you'd like, you can soften your gaze for the moment and take this time to connect with your breath. Do a quick scan of the body and notice any areas you may be holding onto tension. Work can get stressful. So this is a perfect class for after work to unwind and really open up the body. All right, if you're ready, let's take a deep inhale, arms up to the sky and exhale, release down. Deep inhale, arms stretching high and release one more big inhale. This time holding at the top, stepping that left foot behind the right and stretching over to the right side. And exhale, release. Deep inhale, arms up. This time stepping that right foot behind the left, stretching over to the left side. And release back down. Sweep those arms up and clasp those hands behind your back, pulling open your heart and then folding forward. Allow your head to hang heavy and your arms to hang heavy, allowing gravity to pull them open and pull them behind the body. Maybe pedal out those legs if you need to. Swaying back and forth, just whatever feels good right now in this moment. And now you can release your hands and if you have your blocks, place your hands on your blocks. Take your legs and your feet nice and wide. If you don't have blocks, you can also stretch on a chair or just anything that will allow you to open up your shoulders just a bit more. So just allow your head to hang through your arms, allowing gravity to pull your chest down. Take a deep inhale here. Feel the stretch through the hamstrings. And then on your exhale, let's flip those blocks into second position. And we're just going to start bending and lateral lunging to each side. You can still do this with a chair if you'd like, or no blocks at all. And just sway from side to side, lateral lunges, really opening up those hamstrings. Now stretch that left arm under the body and see if you can grasp that right ankle. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, release, this time taking that right hand to the left ankle and really breathing into this side stretch. And release back. We're going to step back into high plank, hands still on the blocks if you have them. Otherwise, uh, no blocks is fine. Chaturanga, exhale down. Inhale into Upward Facing Dog, feeling this little extra boost with the blocks here on those hips. And then send it back into Downward Facing Dog. Excellent job. And we're going to slowly roll forward onto our knees. And we're going to come into an extended puppy pose. Once again, using those blocks to get a little extra lift here to open up the shoulders just a bit more. 
and then you can release those blocks pushing them over to the side and we're going to sink into that extended puppy again take a deep inhale here and exhale great job let's thread that right arm underneath the body and bind that left hand behind the back remembering to breathe and release push yourself up this time threading that left arm underneath the body and then binding that right arm behind the back if you'd like and when you're ready we're going to release into extended puppy again before rounding through the spine to come into sphinx pose only for a moment send the weight back into extended puppy and then roll forward sphinx pose send your hips back extended puppy breathing through the shoulders and then vertebrae by vertebrae round forward into sphinx allow your head to hang heavy till the very top inhale vertebrae by vertebrae round up into sphinx pose exhale extended puppy now roll forward one last time sphinx pose engage that core to protect that lower back and just allow your neck to hang heavy rocking your chin from shoulder to shoulder feeling any tension releasing out of that upper back and if you need to focus on one area of the neck over another feel free to do so let's just release any tension that's held here gently rocking back and forth now push yourself up into high plank exhale chaturanga inhale into upward facing dog and exhale let's send our weight back into downward facing dog connect with your breath one more time let's inhale that right leg up long and exhale tuck that knee dropping that foot in between the arms drop that back heel inhale up warrior one and straighten out that right leg and let's hinge at the hips really coming into a nice hamstring stretch and then drop into a high lunge right arm comes to inner right thigh and stretch that left arm up and over to the right side for a nice hip flexor stretch then extend those legs again as you hinge forward at the hips getting a nice stretch through the hamstrings and then dropping in a high crescent lunge again stretching over to the right lengthening that tailbone down to feel that stretch through the left hip flexor straighten out those legs hinge forward really breathing into those hamstrings before dropping back down and stretching it over to the right chest is kind of opening up to the left let's do one more hinge down now really breathing into those hamstrings drop that right arm to the mat and outstretch that left arm up towards the ceiling in triangle pose now rise up keep your legs nice and open hands on the hips let's squat down into this nice sumo squat if it feels good for you you can kind of sway your weight back and forth here and then feel free to place your hands on your knees now and alternate dipping your shoulders towards the middle feeling that nice stretch through the upper back and through the spine as you twist towards the middle nice mobility exercise here and when you're ready we're going to place our hands by our left foot step that foot back exhale chaturanga inhale into upward facing dog and then exhale send your hips back into downward facing dog now let's ground through the right foot as we extend that left foot long and drop it in between the hands rising up into warrior one here and then extending that left leg and dropping into that hamstring stretch hinging at the hips now bend that left leg lengthen that tailbone down and stretch that right arm over to the left side straighten out the legs hinge forward breathing into those hamstrings and bend those knees again left arm comes to the inner left thigh stretching over to the left and up once again we're hinging back down 
and drop down. Make sure you're stretching that chest over to the right while you extend over to the left. Hinge forward once again, the last one here. Let's drop that left arm to the mat and inhale that right arm up into triangle pose. Hold and release. Coming into this wide stance once again, clasp those hands behind the back and exhale, wide legged forward fold. Allow those arms to pull over the head and just sway back and forth, allowing gravity to pull you down and release any tension. If you'd like, you can release your hands and clasp your elbows and just sway back and forth here. Feel that nice stretch through the hamstrings in this posture and breathe. When you're ready, we're gonna release back and we're gonna come into a low yogic squat. So take your knees nice and wide, allow your elbows to kind of help push your knees open, palms together, take a deep inhale here, and exhale, release onto your glutes and feel free to grab your big toes and straighten out those legs in a high boat posture. Keep that spine nice and long, legs extended, and then take those legs wide if you can. Keep your core engaged to really keep your balance here. And release, excellent job. We're gonna bend that left knee, pulling that heel towards the glute, and then cross that right leg over the left. So heels come by the hips and our knees are forward. And we're gonna just slowly fold forward into this pose. If this is too uncomfortable, you can also kind of sit in a cross-legged posture and stack your shins and then fold forward. This is a really great IT band stretch. You should be feeling it in your kind of like your glute area. And just allow your weight to sink into your knees. And we can release back up. Bring that right knee high and let's stretch it over to the right side. Keep that spine long here. And just breathe and release this time we're gonna cross our left leg over the right stacking the knees and pulling the heels towards the hips once again fold forward allowing your weight to sink into your knees and really feeling it through that left it band now on your exhale allow to sink a little bit deeper And then you can release back up at this time. Bring that left knee high and stretch it over to the left side. And we can release. Allow yourself to roll back onto your back and cross that left ankle over the right knee and clasp your hands on your right hamstring and just pull those legs in towards your chest. Allow yourself to breathe here. And imagine your breath going to any areas of tightness in your legs. And we can switch legs at this time, crossing that right ankle over the left knee and pulling those legs in. Deep inhale and exhale. Excellent. Now you can release your legs and grab the outer edges of your feet, pulling those knees in towards your armpits for happy baby pose. Feel free to rock back and forth, giving the muscles in your spine, a nice little massage here, ever so gently. And 
And when you're ready, you can release your legs down and prepare the body for Shavasana. So allow your arms to lay heavy by your sides and allow your ankles and feet to relax. Relax your forehead and relax your jaw. Roll your shoulders down and back. Notice any tension still held in the upper back. And with your exhale, imagine that tension releasing into the mat below. And just allow gravity to pull your body down. Allow it to feel heavy and supported. And turn your attention to your breath. Nice deep inhalations, breathing life into the body. Now allow yourself to drift off into a state of stillness and peace. If you enjoyed this yoga class, it would mean the world to me if you liked this video and subscribed to my channel. I put out new videos every Sunday. See you next time.